In this video, I'm going to talk about membrane-assisted transport. And so essentially what membrane-assisted transport is, membrane, assisted, transport. And so essentially what it is, is imagine we previously spoke about protein channels that can get nutrients or like ions and stuff into and out of the cell. But what happens when you have a particle or something that's too big to fit through a protein? So what happens is essentially you need a different way to get the substances inside the cell. And so what happens is, or inside, or release it, right? And what happens is there's three types. There's three types. Actually, sorry, there's only two types of membrane-assisted transport. There's exocytosis and endocytosis. And so, essentially what it is, is, I'll get more specific into it in a second, but endocytosis engulfs stuff, slash takes in, while exocytosis releases things out of the cell. And so let me clear this. And so there's actually three types of endocytosis. And let me clear this. So endocytosis. There's three types, phagocytosis, is engulfing large solid material into the cell. And so essentially, imagine this is a cell membrane. and there's a substance here and so essentially it kinda like there's a substance a particle here so the cell essentially the membrane goes around it and brings it in and then so this would be the next step and that's the particle and then, essentially, imagine that's the outside of the cell. It pinches off a vesicle, and this is brought into the cell. So this is the inside, and that's the outside. In, out, out, in. And so essentially it engulfs big things. And a different type of endocytosis, let me clear this, is penocytosis. And this is the same thing as, uh, as phagocytosis. But essentially what it does is it, um, the one difference is it engulfs liquids. So it's the process in which liquids or small particles enter the cell. 
via a vesicle. And it's also commonly known as cell drinking. 